Hey guys, I'm making a short video just to show you what you need to make a bell-shaped iron craft. What you'll need is some aluminum foil found in any kitchen, some sort of bowl. I have this piece of foam, which works great, but you can use any kitchen bowl. You can use like this big one over here would make a pretty large one. You know, any of these cooking bowls over here, turned upside down, of course, they will work fine for making some sort of iron craft. Um, you also need tape. Scotch tape works fine. Kapton tape works better. It's K-A-P-T-O-N. You'd also need a plastic straw, and you're going to cut off the uh, the bendy part over here. You don't want that. Um, also, you can find some thin wire. This is like 22 gauge wire. Now, if you don't have really thin wire like this available in your house, what you can do is you can find some flexible wire. Like I found this 22 or 30. No, this is uh, 18 gauge wire. Basically stripped it thin and um, show release the wires from inside because it's stranded and just those mul those single strands are the right thickness for what you need on the top um, now the first thing you would want to do is put the aluminum on top of the uh, the cone the bowl and flatten it out okay so as you can see we flattened the aluminum foil around the bowl now you're going to want to cut off all this excess aluminum foil so you have a nice edge over there and then you're going to take your straw and you're going to poke it straight into the material now you do not want this uh, little part on here so let's cut that off there we go I'm going to put that straight inside the uh, aluminum foil and we'll a little hole out of it okay so this is the finished product basically you have a round dome on the bottom and make it as smooth as possible try to get all those creases out nice and smooth then you have a straw attached via pieces of tape um, make sure that there's no tape blocking the hole of the straw because this straw needs to go on a piece of balsa wood so you can control the craft it wouldn't go flying all over the place although you could fly it just like this you know there's no reason why this wouldn't work um, and then at the top you have these really thin wires that we got by um, stripping out another piece of wire, a flexible piece of wire. And you're gonna apply the high voltage to that part and ground out the base. Um, depending on the distance uh, of the straw, you may have to raise the voltage to somewhere around 50,000 to get this thing to fly. But you know, you can play with different voltages and different shapes and different heights and uh, it should work.